Jansen Harris reporting for the Just Good Network here in Atlanta, Georgia. Antonio Brown was this close to being traded to the Buffalo Bills. You see, people have to realize the genius behind the Steelers. Do you really think they're going to trade him to a Super Bowl contender? I mean, I've said, okay, these are the dream teams I'd like to see him play for with Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, other elite quarterbacks. But they're going to be like, okay, you want to cause issues? You don't want to be part of a winning organization? You want to throw Mike Tomlin under the bus and Big Ben and, and Kevin Colbert, who's a smart guy, and it's like, you know what? You're going to play with a bad quarterback. He was this close for that to happen. Expect the Steelers to package deals, package a deal to get Antonio Brown out of there to a bad team with a bad quarterback. Most likely, I think he's going to the NFC. If he stays in the AFC, then you know he's going to go to a team that has no chance in hell of winning and competing for a Super Bowl. Antonio Brown, the 1,000-yard seasons you had, we can't take that away from you. The 100-plus catches, we cannot take that away from you. You're an absolute beast. Top three receiver right now, you could argue one, two, or three, whatever you say. Top five at the least if you're really hating. But Antonio Brown, if you play with a quarterback who's average or below average, you will not win in this league. You will not have the numbers you're used to accustomed to having. Expect Juju Smith-Schuster to have a big year next year as Antonio Brown is gone, and he should be expected to get a big contract. I'm Jansen Harris with the Just Good Network.